What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about how we can take a texture in SketchUp and we can resize it and rotate it to create a custom texture. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, what I've got here is I've got a shed I put together real quick uh, just using the textures that come kind of stock in SketchUp. And specifically we want to take a look at the siding texture. Now this is SketchUp stock siding texture, meaning if you go to the, the brick cladding and siding section in here it's going to be the cladding siding tan you could also use the cladding siding white in here and this is just kind of the default material or the default look for this material well, what we want to do is we want to use this material but we want to kind of flip it so that it's running up and down and so that the pieces are a lot smaller so what we're going to do is we're going to use position texture in order to do that and so to use position texture what you're going to do is you're going to click on a material just like this and you're going to right click on it and there's this little option in here for texture. So what you're going to do is you're going to move your mouse over this option for texture. Then you're going to move your mouse over to position, just like this. And go ahead and click on position. And you can see how what that does is that creates this kind of like grid looking thing with these four pieces. Um, and specifically, we're worried about the move pin and the rotate pin. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to rotate our texture, first of all. Um, and the way this works is you can see how I can click, I can single click and move this around. So I could take this to any point. Like if I wanted to come off here, I could click on this point right here. I can move this to any point on my texture um, in order to create kind of a move point for everything. So that's if you single click. If you click and drag, like this, you can see what that does with the rotate tool is that'll rotate this around this move tool point like this. It'll also let me drag this in order to adjust the size. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna click and drag this texture 90 degrees just like this. And so you can see how now if I click off of that, my texture is now running straight up and down instead of side to side. And so that's a good start. Um, but next what we want to do is we want to resize that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here again to position. And you're just going to click and drag this scale option down just like this. And you can see how when I do that, what it's doing is it's resizing that texture. So this is a smaller texture material. So now this looks like kind of an up and down smaller siding instead of a large siding just like this. And so what you can do with this is if you want to, you can just use the uh, eyedropper tool to select this texture just like this. And then you can go ahead and drop that in your model with that texture selected. The other thing you can do is you can come in here and you're going to want to right click on this texture. You're going to want to click this option that says make unique texture. And then as soon as you do that, if you go to your in model textures, you can see how this one right here shows up as its own separate texture. Um, so now that's actually in here as a texture. And what you can do is you can re rename this. So you can call this vertical small siding, just like this. And then the other thing you can do is you could save that. So you could right click on this and s click save as and save this as its own texture. Or you can just leave it in here like this and just select it when you need it in this model. Um, you'll probably need to save that somewhere if you want to use it in a different model. But for right now, you can go ahead and use it just like this. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to add this to our doors because I modeled my doors as components. And so you can see how those still have the old texture in here. Well, all you do is you select this vertical small siding option that you had in here before and then you click off of it. And you can see how now you've got vertical siding in all the areas where that horizontal siding was before. So you can use this to customize and edit most of your different materials. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this quick tip. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you knew was there? Have you used it before? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That'll just help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.